Okay, so this model right here, the globe that they sell us, uh, is incorrect as we know, but I want to say that I'm moving away also from the other model, and I'm going to try and explain why. Um, this uh, uh, fantasy world they created for our eyes is not correct, but the one uh, we are seeing and the model that uh, we're currently presenting is this model right here, the flat earth, does not convince me at all, uh, and I'm moving away from flat earth uh, because they rule both sides, they have Asians already on the internet promoting this, and this is a word that we should not enter because this model is not accurate uh, and it does not explain what we see, does not explain what we experience because they know that is much more than just uh, one model, it's a compilation of models and all of them are a grand delusion because the whole world that we see outside is actually happening inside of our own minds. It's it, exactly how I'm putting this. It's happening inside of us, not outside of us. There's not an outside source, there's only an inside source, and we are projecting uh, this outside source upon ourselves, and this is what we call reality. And of course, it has a computation system. It's a binary system. Uh, it's worked by numbers, but these numbers create frequency, create uh, oscillation, waves oscillation. So, what we see, continents, and all of this model, this is closer to what we see as reality, but does not define reality. Has a bunch of problems. Uh, like the pathways of the sun, the pathways of the moon, how the stars rotate, counter clock, and um, the only model that fits is vibratory waves and vortex fields, and uh, this goes into my videos about frequency uh, when I talk about Tesla, but I want to go uh, to have us, uh, you know, make a small introduction. Uh, most people already know this. So if you see uh, Bro, Sanchez, Bro Sanchez's YouTube channel, it calls it the ripple effect, and this is the closest thing we have of the model of the universe, is this ripple effect on water that produces these rings. But in order to produce vibration, in order to produce vibration, or you either have water or you have a metallic plate in order to vibrate. You need a crystalline structure in order to vibrate such a frequency. And this is why in cymatics experiments they use um, an iron plate of some sorts to vibrate and then they put sands to see how frequency oscillate the sand. But you need a structure from which you can uh, vibrate uh, the, the waves. So this is the closest thing that we probably have, but it's inside uh, this vibration um, expands outward, but it has a limit, it has a limit, uh, and uh, otherwise it just fades away as we go close, as we go farther and farther from the projection point, um, it just fades away, it ends. Uh, and the closest we have, we're closer, closer um, to the source. Um, so I'm stepping away from the flat earth model because the model is incorrect. The only thing that can explain the reality we perceived is through vibration and sound. And this is where I'm going with my videos now. And I just want to let you know that I'm going away from the flat earth because I see the agents controlling the information. Uh, and this is a war that is going to bring us back to mysticism and, and religion, and they control the mysticism part and the religion part. This is Borobudur in Indonesia, and you can see the perfect geometry they used, and this is the remnants of, or either what the ancient call it, the Bronze Age, Silver Age, or a Golden Age. And 
the way this is mathematical language. What you see right here is the materialization of a mathematical sequence or a mathematical consciousness. Whoever built this was in tune with the frequency of the universe or of natural vibration. And what the elites have done to us is they progressively are descending us in consciousness and move away from the language of the universe that can be manifested to a material expression but the material expression must mimic uh, the code, must mimic the binary system and the vibratory system. Otherwise, uh, we're creating a reality that is disharmonic and this is what we call uh, influenced by demons because we are creating their own demons and they are opposite of us. They are our, they, they are our opposite sides and we are creating them and they only exist and they keep um, they keep guiding us into a world, a matrix system, a prison system because if we emerge out of that there's no reason for them to exist because um, we transcend those demons uh, because we created them and we are holding them together they have no sense of existence when we jump out of the prison but to do that we need to follow to to move our way back to this perfect system or at least this is what I call closest uh, to perfection and in the next slide uh, you will see what I'm talking about uh, and this is going on my video as well but just for now you can see this in Borobudur Indonesia you can see the levels Okay, let's start with this uh, stairs, what we call stairs of the pyramid, and you can see one level, second level, third level, fourth level, and five level. This is our five notes or five octaves. That depends on how you see it. And then six level, se seven level, eight level, that represents the circle around the cloud or around the heaven, which is the, uh, the pillar of creation. And you can see that they drew the pyramid as squares and these squares um, it's basically a geometry of light it's the geometry of light on how this whole thing works and closest to the center then we have the concentric rings which is another form of uh, light conscious how light operates or how the vibratory systems operate the unit is always 432 because it's the sacred resonance um, uh, of them and the, the division of the 432 of course is the 144 as I showed uh, in my video about 432 the magic number of the first chapter okay and this all of this they uh, made it so that um, it produces the perfect pitch or the perfect sounds just like when you're playing a chord uh, which is major second uh, a perfect fifth and the perfect fourth okay this is the blueprint this is the actual map of what reality looked like but now we're on a different pattern but this pattern does not cease to exist it exists forever it's just a question of how do we tune to this mathematical sacred geometry uh, thinking because this is also a language and this is why when we look into the Mayan culture we also see what it looks like to be computer circuits or, or microprocessors because this mimics um, a computer circuit but it's harmonic this computer circuit works with this geometry this type of geometry and if we're tuned to this geometry, this whole frequency system becomes our language. And this was the language that was destroyed in the Tower of Babel stories, where God confuses the languages and we moved for, to a separate language disconnected from the source. But the clues are all over the ancient world. And it might not be that ancient as we think. It might be much more recent uh, than we think. So I'm going to move on uh, with the next slides. Then uh, we're going to go a little bit into Saturn. 
okay? This is the seal of Saturn, but it's also known as the, the, the sigil of Zazel, and relates to Saturn, okay? But this frequency is actually the natural frequency of chronology. This is what defined time. I have to go back. This is exactly what define time, and they use this, these elites use this mathematical, they know how this whole thing works, and what they do is they compute those numbers in order for us to have a reverse mirror of what should be happening. We are on the reverse mirror of the Saturn seal. This seal is not evil, it's just the way they've made us think. This is the middle diamond, is the central core of the brain. This side right here has a computation of the right brain, and this side right here is the computation of the left brain. And they moved us into a circuitry system where we never ac actually have access to the center of the pyramid, to the central peak, the top of the mountain. And they moved us into a circuitry system and this is why uh, society has become the way it has become it's all left brain based on logic and when we have people that are using this frequency they force them to sign contracts so if you're a painter a musician whatever that you receive inspiration that you're on this mathematical sequence they force you to sign contracts and you're serving the left brain bringing things from the right and this is what is called copyright system uh, so they copy the right and they turn this into a left brain by signing contracts of agreement basically for money fame and fortune okay so tesla knew the secret and did find less the secret of the three six and the nine being denied the top of the pyramid and this is the seal of saturn this is how we measure time. This is the frequency of time of Saturn. Saturn is not evil, but uh, we have fallen for these demons, and these demons are controlling the psyche because they need to justify their existence. So everything is being broadcasted from a single point of consciousness that exists inside of us, but now we are falling for a system because we have two personalities, that work this computer it, it is only by working with the two personalities within us that we reach to the third personality which is the nine okay and this is how the flower of life works is the, the pattern of three six and nine but i'm going to show you what they actually done to us in this seal of saturn they moved us into this little box here outside of us which is the left brain Oh, another thing is 432 equals 9 uh, when you add those numbers and 440 with the 440 hertz equals 8 and they moved us away from the 9 which is the source or the heaven and they put us here on this corner right here and if you see this as a clock then you have um, uh, a sort of 90 degree angle here and uh, you can see by this instead of being this 12 being just 9 uh, they move this into like a clock on 9-11 okay so uh, the 9-11 are the peaks but th that's a different story um, and let's go on So, a restatement, the seal of Saturn is not evil, it's Father Time, but the way they moved us, it was to be outside of the frequency 369, which is as well the 432, okay? I'm going to stop right here so you can see how energy should be flowing into our own brain, which is our consciousness. Our consciousness, the consciousness of, of the spirit is computed by these numbers. And this energy grid, this flow of energy, that always go to a central point, is it, it, it's negative and positive, negative and positive. 
When you are in the sequence of the 369, you are completing a circuitry that reaches heaven on the high peaks. And what they have done is they shut down our ability to reach to the 9, and we're stuck on the 8 system, and the 8 system produces this figure right here. 6, 6, 6, 6, and you're always looping around this from the center to the 8, to the 7, and to the 5th, and when you reach this part, and you come down, then your thought processing, your processing thoughts, are, are either on the positive 6 or on the negative 6. And you're constantly looping, constantly looping, without ever reach to the source. And this is why on the Secret Covenant, uh, if you've seen the video about the, the Secret Covenant, she says that they must never know that we are their opposites, because when they know, uh, they will spot us, and nobody will, will give us shelter, because if we transcend this from the 369 to the perfect pattern, these two brain hemispheres will work harmoniously, and we will reach the top of heaven, we will have heaven. The 666 pattern on this 88 loop system is a, is exactly the mark of the beast that is talked about in the Bible. It's not a ship, a micro ship, it's a pattern of 666, it's a thought processing where we loop around this square, uh, converging into the 666 uh, sine wave. This pr produces uh, a wave. So our thought processing never goes back to the source, and this is why it's so important that people start listening to 432 hertz music, because at least the pattern of those waves will reach to this positive 9, and you will start to see synchronicities in time uh, with your clock. You start to see that your clock will repeat, uh, you will have synchronicity in numbers, the days, things that uh, will guide you through your life because you start to operate on a pattern that is harmonic to uh, how the whole system works. Basically, that's it. Um, and this, of course, goes into more depth about uh, geometric patterns and uh, how the, the, the sacred solids and all of this uh, worked out. But basically, this what we're experiencing is a dual uh, core system. It's a dual core system, it's a dual heart, and it's, a, it's binary, it's ones and zeros. And the nine, the perfect nine, is the heaven which is balanced, because the nine is the zero and the one. Uh, if you think in frequency, you have seven notes, and then you have an octave, and then you reach the nine, and the nine reverses to six, because from the next octave, that's the sixth key. Um, the, uh, it's not the seventh key, it's actually the sixth key before you transcend to another octave. Uh, and I will explain this on videos. And we are inside the shell, and the shell itself is consciousness, and it has these rings, and these rings are in the mysticism circles called the thrones. These are the thrones. Each ring of this is the thrones, and these are oscillating, creating the reality around you, which is very close to your eyes. This is the system of how the universe works, and we're only taking account this magnetic circle around our, around our body, just this one, and confusing it to the model, when the model is not this, and this is why if we don't take in consideration the thrones, which is, are those rings, and Saturn, because it gives birth to us in time, um, it's the major program, and it has that vibration, we should be on synchronicity with time, and when we understand his language, we can operate on the nine level, which is the source. The source of all consciousness. We become one with the source, 
and we transcend each realm by doing this um, when we connect ourselves with that source. Uh, it's very, very clever. These people who work for this dark side are very, very clever. Very, very clever. And I'm going to just going to finish with a, uh, finish with a quote um, that is, Music is the arithmetic of sounds as optics is the geometry of light. This is the correct model. The correct model is geometry, frequency, vibration, and a computer system that I call super consciousness. I'm moving away from the flat earth movement and I'm also moving away from this bold discussion because it doesn't make sense. What makes sense is the correct model that we are the creators of our own projection and we must step out of the dream by becoming complete within ourselves. The whole reality exists inside of us and it has a computer binary code of thinking and when we align ourselves with the thinking thinking as a language our alphabet for example should be that arithmetic of sound plus the optics and they divide us into this simple mathematical symbol uh, uh, this symbology, symbology of, of numbers and words and and we're casting spells on ourselves. So, um, so that's the only thing I want to present. And this is going to be a private video only for subscribers. Okay. Uh, this will not be public. So if you're watching, I thank you so much for your support, but I'm moving away from the two models because I see that they can operate time by inverting the 9 to the 6, they operate on the realm outside of time, so they can predict the outcome of a fight, because we are always fighting, but yet we don't understand the mathematics, we don't understand what they are doing to us, and we need to go back to that perfect mathematical sequence, so that is all for me. And I hope you have a nice day or have a nice night. Hey, bye-bye, guys.